What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the first video of 2019 and being the month for New Year's resolutions and setting new goals and challenges and things like that, I've decided to come down here to the Wild Place Project in Bristol with Craig and we're gonna try a bit of wildlife photography today. Um, I don't really do wildlife photography. I've not really done much of it in the past, but being January, being the new, uh, new year, I thought I'd give it a go and I decided that today I'd shoot with my A7 Mark III with the 100 to 400 G Master that I've borrowed from Clifton again. So um, we're gonna go into the wild place now and it is a bit cold, so hopefully the animals aren't tucked up in bed like I feel like I should be. So uh, we'll see what we get and I'll catch you in a bit. All right, we are heading to the first little spot. I'm not sure what is got in store. Oh, baboons, we're gonna go look at some baboons. Um, there's one here, <laughs> but I don't wanna photograph that one. So we're gonna head to uh, the baboon camp. Hopefully they're gonna be out. Like I said, it's a bit cold, um, but we might be in luck. But the light's amazing. It's really overcast, which creates a nice soft light. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can get really with this lens. I haven't used the 100 to 400 before, but uh, I'm confident that if there are animals about, we'll get some good shots. just left the baboon uh, enclosure. There was only one by the look of it and he was kind of hanging out on that hill there, freezing his tits off. So <laughs> uh, we didn't very, get many shots. He kind of was just tucked up. And uh, as you can see from that video footage from the A7 III, he was doing some other things, uh, which I might have to put a R rating on this video for. But um, we're gonna head to the next enclosure. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, we'll see you there. Well, that was the cheetahs. They were out for literally 30 seconds. Uh, we might go back there. Hopefully they'll come back out. Um, but now we're gonna head, I don't know, to Madagascar apparently. So we'll see what's there. trying to get some photos of these European grey wolves um, but they're kind of way hidden over the back there uh, yeah it's hard this wildlife photography stuff what's the, what's the key to landscape photography oh no wildlife photography Craig patience you just said it yeah a lot of it <laughs> that's it man you've got to be patient and uh, the wolves are making like circular trails all the time so we're trying to set up in a spot and uh, get our focus set really because it's hard to shoot through this uh, chain link fence um, especially when you're in autofocus so we're trying to select a point where the wolves run past uh, but yeah like I said it's, it's bloody difficult I don't think I'm gonna get hired by uh, Attenborough anytime soon <laughs> That was sick. We found this little spot here where there was no one and the, this is where the wolves were running around and uh, they were jumping up on this little kind of platform thing. Uh, so we stayed there for a little bit and finally we got some sick shots. I 
thing about the 100 to 400 it's not the fastest lens uh, 4.5 to 5.6 with the zoom range and I'm shooting pretty much at around 3 to 400 so it's 5.6 which means I'm having to use higher ISOs but I managed to drop the minimum shutter speed to 1 1 25th which is testament to the image stabilization in that lens um, as at around 400 mil technically you should be shooting at around 1 uh, 800th of a second but uh, at 1 1 25th it meant I could shoot at lower ISOs and I got slightly cleaner images so that's what I'm shooting with now so 1 1 25th of a second and a left ISO on auto Meerkats might be my new favorite animal. <laughs> They're super cute, man. Uh, we are now heading, I don't know, where are we going? I have no idea, Hold the trail. Yeah, we're gonna go and try and find something cool. Uh, I, I literally am getting a newfound appreciation for wildlife photographers, the patience you need to get a good image. I mean, we've only spent about an hour here. We've only got another about half an hour, 45 minutes left, so. We're trying to rush through our shots really, but um, to get good wildlife images, it takes a hell of a lot of patience. So mad respect to you wildlife photographers out there. But um, I think I've got a few good ones. We're gonna go and try and get the cheetahs again now. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Those were the uh, Madagascan uh, lemurs, which the lady was telling us there are quite endangered now. Um, they, these ones came from a zoo in France. And um, yeah, when you come here, part of your entrance fee goes to support in uh, the, the foundation that kind of looks after those in the wild. So it's a great little project this. If, you, uh, if you're in the Bristol area, definitely come and check it out. And um, yeah, every little bit helps, I guess, uh, in terms of conservation and looking after these animals. So, uh, but they were kind of cool. They were uh, quite mischievous, really hard to take photos of because they just wouldn't stop moving. Cheers, mate. And, uh, but yeah, they might be my second favorite animal uh, from today. But right, we're gonna head back now, try and get these cheetahs, and uh, then we're gonna call it a day, I think. Uh, before we go to the cheetahs, uh, we've actually just spotted zebras, and apparently there are giraffes. So. We're gonna get those first, um, and there's some kind of pig things here playing football. Oh, Red River Hogs uh, that are playing football better than I can. <laughs> <laughs>
What did you just call those giraffes, Craig? A bunch of pricks. Hard work. <laughs> Uh, cut that. Right, compositionally it was really difficult to get a shot of those giraffes. Um, but they were super awesome. Now, for the final time, we're going to try and get these cheetahs and then we're going to wrap it up and call it a day. Right guys, we're done. It's two hours we've just spent in the wild project here in Bristol and uh, yeah, first little go at wildlife photography it was uh, it was good fun actually. I surprisingly enjoyed it. Um, it was quite difficult though. I can see the main issue with wildlife photography is, is time and having a lot of time and patience, which we didn't really have a lot of time today, but it was good fun. 100 to 400 was, was quality actually, it was really good. The image stabilization from the A7 III plus the lens's image stabilization meant I could shoot quite slow shutter speeds uh, for a zoom lens and uh, I think I got some good shots. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for the, to the wild, uh, the wild Place project. If, like I said earlier, if you're ever around Bristol area, well worth checking out and your entry fee does support conservation around the world. And uh, yeah, first little video of 2019, we're off to a flyer. Stay tuned for many more awesome videos and I'll see you on the next one.